Well, hello everybody and welcome once again to Lightning TV, brought to you of course in association with mjdphoto.biz. Another testing weekend for Milton Keynes Lightning as they hosted on Saturday night the uh, titled pretenders, if you like, Guildford Flames. Now they're a couple of points clear at the top of the EPL and it was them who took the points on Saturday night with a 3-2 win after a great game between the two teams, followed by a tough road trip back up the M6 to Telford on Sunday. Now after the game on Saturday, we caught up with a couple of the guys. Uh, frustrating loss tonight uh, for the team because that was uh, a game on pretty much on any other night you'd, you'd have walked away with two points in that one uh, yeah definitely um, you know I, I didn't think we had a bad start uh, to the game I thought you know we were pretty much at them the whole game um, but you know we had some really good chances and, and so did they so um, but yeah um, Alex played really well um, but you know it's just a frustrating thing where we want them bounces to go in and tonight they just didn't for us I'm afraid Talking to the other guys, when you lose, uh, the frustrating games when you lose, when you maybe don't play to your potential, they're the really frustrating ones. And, and, and tonight you can, you, you can sort of hold your heads up high because you, you, you know, you, you're in contention right up until the last minute. Okay, there was maybe a couple of soft goals that you maybe wouldn't, you know, wouldn't have wanted to give away, but th that was a, a balanced game all the way through, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was end to end. I think the shots showed that as well, um, that there was scoring chances at both ends. Uh, I think it was 40 shots apiece, but... Um, yeah, I mean, it was just, if, if that's the top of the league, like we've been talking about, you know, we're, we're, we're right up there, you know what I mean? There's, there's, again, if we got them right bounces, you know, in front of the net and they didn't scramble in front of Mark Lee, you know, one of them goes in, it's a totally different game. I suppose it makes you look back when, you, when you've had these games, and these games have been the same with Guildford and, and Basingstoke and Manchester all the way through the season, and yet we've, I'm not going to bemoan the injuries because every team's had them, but maybe the timing has been wrong uh, for us. You, you can really look back on this season and just think, what if? Yeah, that's it, yeah. I mean, um, Cammy, what an idiot. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it. I mean, injury-wise, you know, we can't make excuses about injuries, like we said, but at the end of the day, I mean, We've always played well against the top four and I keep saying it time and time again, we can win things on this team and you know, I mean, it's the, the, the bottom half of the table where we need to like, you know, get our heads around and, and be ready like we are ready for the Guildford games, the Basingstoke games, the Manchester games and we've just got to bring it week in, week out. I know we keep saying, you know, some sometimes we're saying the same things every time but we just have to, have to be mentally ready every time we step on the ice. Speaking of which, tomorrow you got a tough trip up the uh, up the M6, uh, you know, to uh, go and face Telford. And uh, let's face it, Telford now their, their season is effectively over. All bar the, the four games they've got, or well, the eight games they've lost, got left to play. They're, they're mathematically, they can't make the playoffs. So um, they're going to be playing now like they've they've really got nothing to prove. They're pretty much carefree hockey, isn't it? Yeah, I mean they've did exactly what they did last year. They've hit February and they've hit their peak. And with injuries and everything else, I mean, every year they, they get better when it's too late. And uh, yeah, they, they never give up. They're always there. They want to play every game and they've got kids there that want to prove to either go higher or, you know, or a different team and progress their careers. But, you know, Tommy Watkins has done a really good job there. And um, yeah, we have to go there tomorrow with a mentally and physical act that we're playing Guildford or playing Basingstoke. And we need them two points. You know damn well that you really the whole team knows damn well that that third place really is achievable for you now, and that's that's pretty much where you want to go, isn't it? I mean, let's face it, Guildford probably got the the, the league wrapped up. They're maybe a little bit too far ahead of Basingstoke even now, um, but third place would be uh, a major boon for you, wouldn't it? And and you are as a team starting to hit your peak at the at the right time of the season. Yeah, I think so. Um, it's took a. I think a frustrating, frustrating long months to get us to where we are, but we're right where we want to be. And um, yeah, we lost tonight, but you can still see we're creating chances. We're getting better and better every every week. And you know, the playoffs is going to be a fun time for Milton Keynes Lightning. I think. Going to go back to you now because obviously you set out tonight's game um, uh, mainly through injury, but we also have obviously the the, the, the rotation with yourself and uh, Alex Metham. Um, and when we spoke to you earlier on in the season, you were going through a really frustrating time where a little bit of injury, you maybe weren't playing, and, and every now and again there was a, the odd goal that you'd, you'd maybe want back, and it was it was you know it was showing all over your all over your face the disappointment you were showing. And now all of a sudden, you know, a bit of hard work goes in, and um, you're top of the league in, with regards to the goalie stats. That, that, that's that's 
that's a cracking turnaround. You must be happy with that. Yeah, I am. Yeah, but um, I've I haven't played as many games as the other goalies um, on that respect. But you know, I, I don't really concentrate on that side of it because if you do, you know, you start uh, leaking in goals if you start thinking about it. But I mean, as regards to me and Alex, I think Nick can pretty much pick whoever he wants now. Um, it's entirely up to him. And me and Alex are always ready to play. But you know, uh, yeah, I'm back back to myself. Um, I f- you know, I'm ready to play every game. Um, I feel good and confident now, and I'm just ready to play week in, week out. Um, I took an injury on Thursday. Um, I took a slap shot to the neck, which wasn't pretty, and it's it's kind of put me out a little bit. But I won't let it affect me in any way. And uh, hopefully, I'll be back if I'm not playing tomorrow. Back training Tuesday and just get back on the horse and get get back playing the way I can. And of course, your old friends from uh, up the road uh, back here next Saturday night, Peterborough Phantoms, are back in town. Yeah, yeah, it's you know we struggle against them, and this is these are the games where we need to, you know, uh, it's it, we keep saying it, we need to beat these teams, and we have to beat these, um, regardless of I've played there for how many years or not. Um, we just have to beat Peterborough, and I think from now on in, um, we have to beat these teams because we have to beat everyone to win the playoffs. I don't want to start looking at too. I don't want to write this season off too too quickly. But uh, you know, maybe you can start sort of looking towards uh, next season again. And uh, you know the guys now. You've known these guys all season, including the guys that have come in as we've worked. You know, worked, worked throughout the season. If this Lightning team stayed together and started next season, uh, you know, confidently, how dangerous is it if if everybody was fully fit? Um, very. Um, you know, like I keep saying, we played uh, the top four in the matter of the last five weeks and we ended up, apart from tonight, we've been beating them. And I think it's a worrying thing, not just for the league, but for the top four that are up there, you know what I mean? I, I don't think Guildford came here tonight and thought, you know, this is just going to be a walkover because it, we beat them the last two times. But, you know, I think from here on in, if if Pooley gets to manage to keep everybody that he's wanting to keep, um, I can't see why we can't can't win anything. You know what I mean? Um, But we'll we'll see how this season commences and how the summer goes. Yeah, as I say, I don't want to write this season off yet. Still got four or five weeks to go. I think it's five weeks now until the uh, the, the Coventry weekend, which, you know, fingers crossed. We'll have a uh, we'll have a lightning representation there this season. Uh, definitely, um, you know I think it's in the back of our minds. We're playing every game as it comes, um, but you know it's in the back of our minds. We we want to get there. We know we can we know we can win it. And I, to to be honest, I can't see why not. Well, that's very that's that's great to great to hear. I know loads of lightning fans, so that will bring a big smile to their face if, if that can happen. Stephen, thanks very much for talking to us. I know it's a tough tough trip up to uh, Telford tomorrow, but uh, all the best to the lads and uh, let's go. Let's go. Two points. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, thank you. You've had frustrations over the last couple of weeks where maybe the performances warranted the loss, but on any other night, on any given night, you could quite easily have taken away two points there, couldn't you? Yeah, I think so. I think overall we played pretty well. I think we probably lacked a bit of intensity at times, where I think, like you said, a few weeks ago we might have lost games and we were pretty... Well, really disappointed in our own performance, but tonight I thought there was a lot of positives to take out of it. So, and we played against a team that are probably going to win the league. So, yeah, we we did all right tonight. I think, like you say, on another night, the bounces went our way. We could have scored a lot more goals than we did. So, yeah, there's a few positives to take out of it. Yeah, just talking about the bounces there. You know, you, you always bemoan bad luck and stuff like that. Puck didn't go our way and it didn't drop and stuff like that. But tonight, it it really did look as if it just wouldn't drop. And there was a couple of times when, you know, Mark Lee was left a little bit stranded. And he had a great game tonight, by the way. Thoroughly deserved his man of the match award. But a couple of times where either Yanni or um, Cami had, you know, opportunities to put the puck in the back of net and it just would not sit down. It just went straight over their stick. No fault of theirs. Yeah, no, you're right. There was a number of times we had goal mouth scrambles. The puck was bouncing everywhere. And like you say, on another night, that could have popped in a better position and we could have put it in the net. And obviously Mark Lee played really well tonight. The defenders played well tonight. Uh, they blocked a few shots on the line and uh, we hit the post a few times. So now we created plenty of chances. So that's a positive to take out of the game. Testament to Guildford because they are a good side. You don't you don't go ahead and you don't you know get that far ahead in the league you know on the back of being a, a bad team. But the the amount of respect that they gave you guys, especially your forwards tonight, because they you know they uh, the minute we got the puck, they're obviously aware of the speed that we've now got at the front, and all of a sudden they're dropping they're dropping back, they're drop defending deep and giving you some space to come onto them. Yeah, uh, or credit to Guildford, they're, they're at top of the league for a reason. They're a good team. They've got 
some really good forwards, but our game plan against them is always to outwork them and try and outmuscle them and give their defence no time on the puck. And unfortunately, at times we didn't do that tonight, and I think that gives their defenders a a lot of time to give the puck to the forwards and let them play with the puck a lot more, which was disappointing. But yeah, like we say, on another night, it c could have gone our way. Good to see uh, Alex Messon come in in place of uh, Steam Wall as well. And, you know, albeit the, 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 the scoreline, you know, doesn't quite uh, do, do uh, Alex's performance justice. He had a good game. Yeah, he did. It's funny, Metti was on a roll at the start of the year. Then we put Wally and he started playing well. Metti's back now. Metti's a quality goalie. They're both quality goalies, so... We've got a great faith in both of our goalies and we know whoever's playing behind us is uh, going to put in a quality performance. Just saying to Stephen there, actually, he's, he's number one in the, uh, in the netminder charts for the league and, and Alex is at number three. Uh, you know, Paulie must think before a game, who on earth do I pick? Yeah, it's a tough call. I mean, like we say, as players, it doesn't matter to us who's back there because both of them are top goalies and I know all of the boys wouldn't change them for anyone in this league, so it's good to have them back there. Just uh, talking earlier about the, talking about changing anybody, not willing to wish this season away. You've still got four or five weeks. There's obviously commentary weekend coming up in six weeks' time, which hopefully you're going to be at. Um, but if this team was this team now was to start next season, you've got to be fairly confident of actually going out and winning for winning a bit of stuff, couldn't you? Without a doubt, yeah. We if this team started next season, we'd be looking to win the league, just like we were at the start of the year. I think we've learned a lot of lessons this year about consistency, about playing against so-called smaller teams and uh, yeah we'd be looking to win every trophy I think. Yeah the couple of these frustrating teams for you are coming up in the next two games as well so you're cracking game tonight but you've got to you've now got to mentally prepare for Telford tomorrow just up the road obviously and and then Peterborough's visit here next uh, Saturday. Met two mentally massive games for you guys aren't they? They are they're really tough it's especially going to a place like Telford it's they're a hard, young, hard-working team and you don't get a second on the puck with them and if you don't go with the right mentality, you're going to lose points like we have done this year and it's the same against Peterborough, it's the same against a lot of the teams down low in the league. If you don't turn up with the right mentality, you won't get any points. So we'll be ready tomorrow, we'll be switched on and we'll be looking to take two points. Well, it's still there. The third place is still up for grabs, isn't it? Manchester are not getting away from you, so third place is, is, is still there. It's still achievable for you guys. Yeah, all we can do now is just take each game at a time, take two points, and if we climb the table, we climb the table. we just got to get good form running into the playoffs and hopefully clicking things into shape. Great stuff. Well, Adam, thanks for talking to us. Good luck in Telford tomorrow, and uh, we'll probably catch up at some stage for the season. Cool. Cheers, Digger. Well, once again, many thanks to the guys for coming up and taking the time to chat to Lightning TV after the game. Now let's go and check out the results from the weekend and see what that does to Sunday night's league tables. So a full programme in the EPL once again, as well as that lightning Guildford game. Basingstoke suffered yet another home defeat as they were shut out again on home ice, this time by Andrew Pyatt's Sheffield Steel Dogs, who seemed to refuse to give up on their final playoff place. And it was a much needed two points as Peterborough also won at home to Bracknell, the score there being 2-1 to the Fenlanders. That score once again puts them above B's in the standing before Sunday's games. Elsewhere, Manchester took the points back to Altrincham as they beat Slough 6-2 at the Hangar, and Swindon beat Telford 5-4 down at the Link Centre. On to Sunday then, and in one of only four games in the league, Lightning finally broke their Telford hoodoo, but needed penalty shots as they took two points away from Telford. The scores were tied at two each after overtime, but it was captain Adam Carr that slotted away the game-winning penalty shot to give the Buckinghamshire side the much-needed win. Elsewhere, Peterborough consolidated their seventh place as they came from behind to beat Bracknell 6-5 in overtime, and Slough slumped to another point this weekend as they went down 4-3 at the Spectrum to Guildford Flames. Finally, Manchester kept a little bit of pressure on Basingstoke as they took maximum points with a 6-3 home win against visiting Swindon Wildcats. On to the league table then, and it now looks like it's Guildford's title to lose as they only need six points from their remaining games to secure that league trophy. Basingstoke are now starting to look over their shoulder at Manchester as that second spot isn't yet secure, and Lightning could still have a say in that as they chase both teams down in the run into the playoffs. Slough's dismal weekend sees him slumped to four points behind Lightning, just two points ahead of Swindon with Peterborough now just three points back. Bracknell sit two points from Phantoms with a game in hand and it now looks increasingly unlikely that Steel Dogs will make the playoffs, although it would be foolish to write them off just yet. At the bottom, Telford moved to 16 points courtesy of that home penalty loss to Lightning, but they'll be building for next season now and certainly won't be pushovers next term. Four or five weeks now to the end of the season, still all to play for at the top. 
Now Monday night it was a case of checkmates as Milnkees Lightning hosted an evening with Camel Tverdek and Lucas Zatopek at the Campanile Hotel over there in Fenny Stratford. Now Gold Supports Club members and others were invited along to spend an evening with the guys as well as other Lightning personnel. Now as well as a buffet and some funny stories there was also a chance to win some very special prizes on the night courtesy of a Supporters Club. Once again a very well supported night and everyone involved with the Supporters Club and Lightning would like to say a big thank you to everybody on the night for your continued support. Well, once again, it was a big night for the 50-50 here at the Thunderdome on Saturday night with the Supporters Club pulling out a prize of £315. And we want to once again thank everybody for buying those tickets as well. The winner in the end, it was Richard Wilmot, our very own Dubsy. He took away £315 and that money was presented to him on the ice by Michael Farn. So again, once again, we really do want to thank you for your support. Now, the playoff weekend is just around the corner. We're just about four or five weeks to go now. And in just a week or so, Milton Keynes Lightning will be unveiling their uh, unique playoff shirts. Now you need to keep an eye on the, uh, the Milton Keynes forums and on the Lightning website as well. All the details are below on the screen. They'll be uh, introduced next week. Be your chance to sponsor these unique shirts. No replicas will be made so at the end of the playoffs you will get to own your very own game worn playoff shirt. Don't forget all you need to do is check out for details on the Milton Keynes forums and on the website. Sadly, that's pretty much all we've got time for this week. Don't forget, next week's visitors to the Thunderdome are the Peterborough Phantoms. That's going to be an absolute barnstormer. Get down here early. If you want to get a discount on your tickets, all you need to do is get them by Friday as well. And for more information, as always, just go to the website, www.mk-lightning.com. Until then, have yourselves a great week. Take care. We'll see you soon.